light is the door for the manifestation of another version of you. Darkness is the closure. Darkness is the momentary closure of dimensions. So the door opens when darkness comes. You wake up. Uh, your soul returns back to your body at the break of the day. The body comes back to consciousness. But from 6 p.m., darkness starts unfolding. The slumberness of the physicality begins because the soul has begun to wake. The awakening of the soul weakens the physical consciousness. But what triggers the awakening of these two dimensions is darkness. At what time do you sleep? Night. What do you, when do you wake up? Morning. The breaking of the day, the soul returns. Because the breaking of the day is the darkness of the dream world. The light of the day returns into the dream world. So the dream, the soul escapes to where the light is. Man was never created for darkness. Have you ever asked yourself, why do men naturally slumber in the night? Because darkness and light are interwoven. Remember, God separated darkness from light. It is that when light was called forth, it did not overcome darkness. They were together. But there was a separation. We didn't know what color it was. It's a mystery. It's a mystery. Look, read, read that scripture carefully. When God said, let there be light, light came, darkness was. So both were together. So God had to, the, the Bible says God separated. So don't you ever say that Darkness is absence of light. You're wrong. Now, that means I've unlocked something for scientists to start thinking. Because the moment they say that darkness is absence of light, then there is a closed case. Uh -uh. Okay, let's read Genesis chapter 1, from verse 1 to 2 and 3. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of the Lord moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light and it was good. God divided God divided the light from divided. Now let's see the next verse. And God called the light day and the darkness he called night and the evening and the morning were the first day. So day is a function. Day, a day is a child of a transaction between darkness and light.
but you call day afternoon the first day so there cannot be the first day with that evening and morning with that night and day or what they call darkness and light the transaction of both mysteries produce day now hear me out very important are you still here <laughs> when the day begins to break darkness the same light that you have here during the day returns back to earth and the body start waking the alertness of the awakening body draws the soul back into the body even though you continue to sleep in the day you start having nightmares Because in the day, you ought to have what we call trance. Trance is the engagement of your spirit. Open vision is the engagement of, of the spirit, not the soul. Not the soul. It's the engagement of, of the spirit. So your spirit can be caught up in a twinkle of an eye into dimensions to behold the visions of God. Hallelujah! <laughs> We increase in spiritual ranks when we capture certain depths in the realms of your sin. When we elevate into that encounter, something is captured in the realms. Nobody enters the frequencies, the electricity of Zion, and be the same. Your increase in the spirit decreases your carnality. Get the A Visit to Kronos conference DVD on Pastor John's digital library. Visit www.pastorjohndigitalmedia.com.